Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Terika Janice. If you are new here, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In today's video, we are doing one of our favorite things, which is hygiene shopping. I haven't been hygiene shopping in a while, especially at Target. And there's a few things that I've been seeing around that I wanted to pick up. So we are going to be heading to Target today. I do want to go to Sephora as well, but we probably will hit up Sephora today. So I am pretty much ready to go, about to head out the house, but I want to go ahead and put on some perfume. The fragrance that I'm going to be wearing is actually one by Scentbird and shout out to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. If you have not heard of Scentbird, Scentbird lets you try out new designer fragrances every single month for just $17. Like what? You cannot beat that. Especially if you are trying to begin or even strengthen your fragrance collection. It's a perfect place to start to help you discover new fragrances and build your perfume collection. Scentbird has reimagined how we discover new fragrances, how we shop, how we purchase and experience fragrances all together. Scentbird has over 600 designer fragrances that you can choose from from prada gucci delina all type of fragrances and you'll get a 30-day supply so you can try out the fragrances before committing to a huge bottle i've been wanting to try this delina perfume for such a long time but the original price of this perfume was like 330 dollars i was so happy when i seen it on stemper website so i could try it out before finally purchasing a large bottle of this perfume we're going to be wearing the delina perfume you guys i'm so excited because it smells so good it has this fresh powdery scent and if you guys are not new to my channel you know that i absolutely love it anything fresh so I love that this gives me that powdery fresh scent I've actually worn this a couple times before and I've gotten compliments on it my boyfriend actually loves this this is one of his favorite ones I love that their fragrances it comes in this little tube and all you do is twist it up and it's a pretty nice size bottle it's actually a 30-day supply so you can try out the fragrance before committing to a full-size bottle and it has the name on it so you know which fragrance it is and I love that it comes in this durable really compact packaging because because it's perfect for on the go. And honestly, with this perfume, you don't need much at all. Like when I tell you, you know that this is a really high-end fragrance because you do not need much. So make sure that you guys check out Simber and use my code Terica for 55% off, which is like a little over $7 for these fragrances. Um, so you can start building your collection. And yeah, you guys, so we are about to head over to Target and do a little bit of hygiene shopping. So. I am in Target now and we are gonna head over to the beauty section to see what they have. I had seen, what's her name? Livin' Ash. I seen her do a video where she pretty much came and shopped at Target on a $30 budget. And I feel like I'm gonna do something similar because I know with buying hygiene products, it's, it's really a luxury, like buying a lot of hygiene products. So I just want to be able to come and show you guys the things that are good, but still affordable at Target and at Walmart. So I've been seeing this Daily Moisturizing Oat Oil with Jojoba Oil by Vino. I've really been wanting to try it out, but it's $10. It probably will last a really, really long time, but I don't know if I want to get that yet. Conditions dry rough skin and you should see more even skin in one week. But I've been wanting to pick up some bio oil, which I haven't had any of that. I ran out such a long time ago, but I definitely need some more bio oil, especially to try to combat stretch marks and stuff like that. Y'all know that I love the Eco Tools bath cloth. I definitely need to need a new one of these. So I'm gonna pick one of these up today. I'm not really a fan of their exfoliating gloves. I feel like the ones from like Dollar Tree and the cheaper ones are better because they're a little bit more rough. I'm gonna pick this up today though. I'm sure this is pretty new. Cetaphil has body wash, so this is for acne prone skin, dry sensitive skin, rough textured skin. So if you're struggling with that, I'm sure this will be good. Stress skin, Cetaphil has a really good face cleanser. Oh, you know what? I do need to go ahead and pick up some of the Dove body polish. You guys know that this is like favorite body scrub. So I wanna go ahead and pick one of these up. I'm so disappointed because I really wanted to grab some more of the Flamingo. I meant uh, more of the um, Joy. I was saying Flamingo, but Joy razors. 
So I think what I'm gonna do is pick up some of the Flamingo razors because I did hear some really great stuff about these. Even though the Joy razors I really love, they don't have them here. So I think I'm gonna pick these up as a little um, thing you can stick to your shower. But what color should I get? The pink one. I feel like I wanna get the pink one. 360 Comfort System Shave. I'm really upset about the Joy Razor. Do y'all um, Target have the Joy Razors? Cause mine don't, I don't see it. They have just Venus, Flamingo, and that's pretty much it. Oh y'all, have y'all seen this? This is Shave Stirrup. I've never seen that before for bikini, legs, and underarms. Interesting, I, have my, I love my shave oil, so I'm not gonna pick this up. It's $13, but I just thought that was interesting. I've been obsessed with the Olay body washes. This one is the Rose Water, Rose Water and Nectar. Good. I gotta pick this up. This smells so good. I'm gonna pick this up even though I have 50 other body washes that I have not used up yet. It can't hurt. They also have the Harry's brand at Target, which I did not know this definitely is new. I've heard some really, really great things about the Harry razor. So I think this is like a unisex razor, but it's supposed to be really, really good. I think I'm gonna try this out, y'all. So let's go ahead and pick this up instead of the Flamingo one. Have y'all seen this? This is the Cloud Cream Jergens Breathable Hydration for comfortable moisture. That is so interesting. Have y'all seen this before? Cantu has, oh, I feel like I really wanna try this out, y'all. I think I'm gonna try this out. So this is the Cantu for your skin and your hair. This is a mango butter raw blend with shea butter and coconut oil. I love this. I bet it's so moisturizing. So we're gonna pick this up. Okay, y'all, so I finally found it. It's been literally on the same aisle that I've been on for five minutes. But this is the bio oil. I wish they had a smaller, version of it i used to love bio oil and i still do but just haven't picked any up in a while and it lasts such a long time so it helps with stretch marks uneven skin tone scars aging and um, hydrating dehydrated skin so it'll be perfect for like your face and stuff too but i'm gonna use it on my body i use the toothbrush for this brand and this is ten dollars but it's like a reusable floss pick which I love and it comes with the 180 picks. So I think I'm gonna try this out because I have been seeing this all over like TikTok and stuff like that. So definitely gotta pick this up. I do really love these right here, which are definitely more affordable. These out and I'll let y'all know how I feel about them. I wanted to get a new tongue scraper. So I think I'm gonna pick this one up. This is the one that I had last time. This one is four buck. This is lavender cloud, which I'm not a fan of lavender, but it's a renewing body wash with oat extract. It's supposed to help you unwind and rest. So let's smell this. The packaging is really what caught my eye. So it actually smells like the Dr. Till's sleeping um, line, the sleep line. So I can definitely see how this would wind you down. It smells really good though. We are in Sephora right now. I'm super excited. I want to see if I can find different products that I've been seeing around. I have the Glycolic Renewing Scrub, which this is actually really, really good. I tried it out and I really love it. Y'all, it will have your skin feeling so good, like butter. This is for your face though. This is eye cream. Um, I think I want to start with some type of cleanser. This is the oil cleanser, which is 30 bucks, which I feel like that's not bad for a cleanser at all. So I don't know, I may pick this up. I'm not sure how I feel about it though. I did want to pick up some of this beam cream. I had seen this when I came to Sephora a couple weeks ago. I wanted to pick it up then, but I didn't. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up now. It's 38 bucks for 6.4 ounces. And then they also have the body oil as well. I've also been wanting to try out some of the necessary items. They're pretty, pretty up there in price, especially the body wash, it's like 25 bucks. And then you have, then you got the body serum, which is like $45. So I think I'm gonna grab that because, so I can try it out first before I'm spending all this money on the bigger sizes. But I wonder how much this is. That's how they get you y'all. They don't have prices on stuff and then all of a sudden you go up there and it's 80 bucks. It comes with the body exfoliator, the body wash, the body serum, and the body lotion. Um, they also have 
the deodorant fifteen dollars. Like I can't give it that. Maybe one day I'll try this, but I have heard some decent reviews on the deodorant, so I think I may pick that up one of these days. I have also been seeing um, the topicals faded cream. I'm sure this is not new to any of you guys. Um, I just have not gotten around to trying it, so it's for dark spots and discoloration which i have some discoloration around my mouth so i think that'll be good for that but i don't know if i'm gonna pick it up today for no 38 dollars okay they have one for um dry sensitive and eczema prone skin they have a ingrown hair tonic which is this right here 26 dollars. i feel like i'm gonna try this out but i don't really get that many ingrown hairs so i don't think it's worth it but if you do get a lot of ingrown hairs this may be good for you and it has no smell to it so that's all that's always a plus what i have seen though on tiktok is this tea can elixir so it's supposed to like even out the texture in your skin which i don't have much texture y'all 110 dollars they crazy but i heard it is really really good but they have the smaller bottle for 80 bucks so if you have textured skin this will be perfect for that i don't know if y'all remember if y'all remember me coming here to try to find this now they have it fully in stock and this is a really big bottle and it's only 35 dollars and i really love the smell of it now this is what i would say about this cream as i started to use it the smell of the fragrance wasn't there i would say i would not repurchase this but i definitely want to pick up this because it's really a good like everyday type of fragrance i believe it was like a year ago i tried out the way scalp and body scrub and i actually really liked it but i haven't tried this scent i tried this one right here so i feel like i'm going to smell this and see what it's given Oh, that actually smells really, really good. It does smell like a hair product. Mm, I think I'm gonna wait on that. But they do have like body cream and fragrances and stuff like that. I'm sure that you guys have seen this fragrance everywhere and I did not know they had it at Sephora, at my Sephora at least. So I wanted to smell it and we may actually, we may actually pick it up today. It is the Twilly d hermes i've really really been wanting to try it this is the actual um bottle right here like how cute is that like so girly this is a powdery floral which i love the delina perfume is actually a powdery floral I think. that actually smells so really really good you know what that's so funny i was gonna get the travel size one but they are actually sold out let's smell the yellow one so this one is the ginger one. They do have this one in stock. Not a big one. The fully fragrance actually smells very good. I thought it was hyped up, but it actually smells good. I think I'm gonna pick that up one of these days. We're gonna go ahead and start with Target. I'm gonna share with you guys what I picked up. If you guys have tried any of these products, leave a comment down below. The last time I went to Walmart, they seemed like they had way more products than Target, and maybe that's just because everybody shops at Target. I don't know what it is, but shopping at both places, Walmart does have a little bit more variety, which is so sad because I love Target. But we picked up a few things. Most of the stuff, kind of essential things that I needed to get that I ran out of. To start off, I got a 625 pack of Q-tips. And you can use it for so many different things too, like remove your makeup and you know all types of things. I also got another OG. Um, this is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in the Macadamia scent and one of my favorite Dove Body Scrubs. I've been using this for years. It's such a gentle exfoliant so if you have more sensitive skin it still will be perfect for you versus like those rougher scrubs like Tree Hut. Although I do really love those too but uh, I will never, 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 never never give this up so i did also pick up some bio oils because i really want to try to combat my stretch mark it's so helpful for scars and things like that last year i got a scar from the pool on my leg and it lightened it up so i finally re-upped on it it is 21 dollars though like it's on the pricier side but it's gonna last you a long time like it's a really big bottle it's perfect for stretch marks uneven skin tone hydrating the skin aging all types of things that has so many different benefits. I love, love, love bio oil. So I picked that up. I just re-upped on my Dove dry spray because mine went quick. As you guys seen, I just picked it up in my Walmart haul about a month ago, but I have not been the only one using it. So um had to re-up on that. And then I also got another tongue scraper. So 
had to get this. It has like little bristles on it to help you like really scrape your tongue. It's easier to like get the back of my tongue with this. So I really love this one. It's just so gentle. I've been in desperate need for some razors y'all. So I was like, I'm just gonna wait to get them though when I go hygiene shopping. I wanted to pick up the Joy Razor. I had picked up the Joy Razor a while back, which I actually never showed you guys. And I absolutely love how it shaved, but they didn't have it at Target. So I opted to do the Harry's razors. I've been hearing a lot of really great things about the Harry razors and I did not realize they had them at Target. So I was like, let me go ahead and pick them up. It's not as cute like the the aesthetic of it is not as cute, but I heard they're really good. Five blade razor and it has a lubricating strip for a smooth, gentle glide, which I love. And it comes with one razor handle and two blades, two blade heads. So I'm really excited to try this out. It has like this little grip part to it, so it's not gonna slip out of your hand, which I love. I did go ahead and pick up the Quipped Floss Pick. I had been seeing this on um tiktok so i was like let me try it out i thought it looked so cool so this is how it looks it's like how sleek is that that is so super cute like perfect to just throw in your purse uh, without having to take a whole big thing of floss with you and it has a little mirror on it which i love this is the reusable pick and you have the floss on this side if you guys can see it i'm really excited to try this out i have been loving the quip toothbrush so it was definitely due time for a new brush head unlike most like just cheap toothbrushes you have to change them out like every month but these ones last up to three months oh my goodness i just have been so obsessed with these body washes lately and they smell so good this whole entire fresh outburst line by olay smells so so good but this one this may actually become one of my everyday body washes. This one kind of smells like, I feel like this one almost kind of smells like the Rose Body Wash by Dove almost. So I really love this. It has B3 in it and everything like that. So love, love, love this. And then the last thing that I picked up from Target was this Cantu Mango Butter. It's a raw blend with shea butter and coconut oil. And it is by Cantu, but it's for your skin and also your hair. So definitely interested to see how this is gonna turn out it has no smell to it but when i tell you it is so moisturizing i don't know if you guys can tell but like look how shiny that is and it's really really thick so perfect for the winter time we know fall and the colder months um and winter time is coming up right around the corner so we want to stay nice and hydrated it's perfect because it has no scent to it so i can mix it with pretty much any of my fragrances that i have we're just gonna go ahead and move on to sephora i feel like i don't really get into sephora quite often so i was so happy that i was able to get into sephora today i picked up a few things i picked up this 68 jasmine and pink dragon fruit spray by Bo de janeiro and you guys, I absolutely love it. I got the big bottle this time. I had the smaller bottle and I pretty much ran through it. It smells just like Baccarat. I do still have the cream um, that goes with it. When I initially smelled the cream, it did smell like Baccarat. It did smell like this spray, but when I put it on, it really did not smell like anything. The fragrance had like faded away or something. I don't know. But this. It smells so good. The next thing that I picked up was this Ole Henriksen Beam Cream Smoothing Body Moisturizer. And I have, I've had my eye on this for a couple months now and I decided today was the day to go ahead and pick it up. Let me show you guys how it looks. Um, you know what, I didn't actually smell it in the store, so I'm curious as to how it smells. This has AHAs, fruit enzymes, and caffeine. And Ole Henriksen Skincare, um, I've tried them before in the past. They haven't disappointed, so I'm sure the body care will be hidden as well. It has like a bouncy feeling to it. I don't know how to really explain it, but um, let's put a little bit on and see how it is. It definitely is a lightweight moisturizer gives me a little bit of sheen almost has like a citrusy type of smell to it so yeah i'm excited to try this out it has ca caffeine in it so it's really gonna hydrate and awaken the skin so yes i'm excited to try that out i did also pick up some necessary body care i had been wanting to try the necessary body care for such a long time so it comes with a body exfoliator a body wash a body serum and a body lotion so i got the full lineup um, and so I could try this out. Let me see how much this was. I think it was like $50. I paid $36 for it. I'm really, really excited um, to try it out because if I like it, then I'm definitely gonna be buying the full size product. This is the body serum. 
And then we have the body wash, which like the packaging is so cute. Like that sage green color, I love that. And then we have the exfoliator. So I'm really excited to try these out. This The body wash is in the eucalyptus scent, so excited to smell this. I like eucalyptus, so I'm sure that I will really love the smell of this one. Make sure you guys check out Simbird and use my code Terica for 55% off of your first order. I'm gonna leave everything in the description box down below, so make sure you check that out. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure that you give the video a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you made it to the end. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.